when troubles surround me, Ooh. I don't have to despair. Ooh. Cause Lord, you told me, Ooh. you told me you'd be right there. Now it seems like all my troubles have just been gone. But I didn't have to worry no more. Cause you are Oh, Jesus, Jesus, my sweet Jesus, Jesus. you know I love to call, I love, I love to call. Just supernatural about you. 
faithful one you got today. With my own heart, oh Lord, I will love you. Praise the Lord. I want to welcome you to our online Sunday service. Welcome to church. This is the day the Lord has made that we will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is a good day. The Lord bless you. This month has been tagged as our month to focus on Christ for a new beginning. God is set to give, you, to give you a new beginning. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We bless your name for today. Lord, we have come to listen to you. We have come to hear from you. Father, we ask that you bless our spirit, soul, and bodies in the name of Jesus. Speak to us in the language that we understand. Father, give every one of us our portion today in your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, God is about to give you a new beginning. God is about to give you a new start. Praise the name of the Lord. You may have had a very rough time, a very tough time during the course of the past months, in the course of the, 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 the past days and past weeks as a result of the global pandemic or as a result of the present situation where you have, you have found yourself. I want you to know that the Lord wants to give you a new beginning. Things may not have been going well for you as planned from the beginning of the year. You, you, you have your plans, you have your aspirations, you, you have your dreams for the year. But along the line, the dreams have been altered. The dreams, your plans have stopped. I want you to know that God has a plan for you. He wants to give you a new beginning. Let us hear what the word of the Lord is saying to us today. We read from the book of Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19. Isaiah 43 verse 18 and 19. It reads, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Amen. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord for you today. This is your lot. This is your portion. Hallelujah. And so today, I will be talking on the topic I have captioned as a new beginning. Why worried? A new beginning. Why worried? Why are you worried? The Lord has already said it, that he is set to give you a new beginning. He said he will make a way for you, even in the wilderness. Praise the name of the Lord. Why are you worried when God wants to give you, wants to make a way for you in the wilderness? Why are you worried when God wants to make rivers for you, even in your desert? Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to know that whatever the Lord says, that is what we stand no matter what you are facing today, you don't need to be worried. The Lord has promised you a new beginning. He said, I will make a way in the wilderness. I will also make rivers in the desert. The Lord is faithful to his word. Whatever he says, that is what he will do. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, one of the heaviest 
onslaught by the enemy in the battlefield of our mind is the stronghold of worry. The stronghold of worry. And I want us to deal with it today. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes both real and uh, imaginary worries attack our minds daily. And the enemy, the devil, knows it. That with the, 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 the prejudice and with the stress, if we, if, if, if we accept whatever is throwing at us, Whatever is making us to be worried, we will be defeated. We will be, we will be defeated and we will be, uh, will be discouraged. Praise the name of the Lord. So the enemy tries to bring in so many things to us. We will begin to think, we will begin to be worried, we will begin to be distressed as a result of the things we are seeing, as a result of the, the circumstances we, we find ourselves, as a result, result of the condition in which we, we find ourselves. I want you to know that the Lord has plans for you. The Lord's plan is that you should not be worried. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord wants you to know that even in that situation that looks hopeless, even in that situation that looks as if there is no way, he said, I will make a way for you in the wilderness and he will make rivers in your desert. Praise the name of the Lord. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 32, I will only read 25, 31, and 34. Matthew 6, 25 to 34, rather. I will read 5, 25, 31, and 34. I read 25. He said, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought of your life, what ye shall eat, what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body more than raiment? Verse 31. He said, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or where without shall we clothe? 34 now. He said, Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Praise the name of the Lord. Your being worried does no good to you. Amen? Worrying about the, the future, worrying about tomorrow's problem, only rob you of the joys of today and the blessings of today. When you are worried, you are disturbed. When you are worried, you will have sleepless nights. The Bible says, take no thought of tomorrow. The Lord knows your tomorrow. The Lord knows the future. The future is in his hand. Praise the name of the Lord. So you don't need to be worried. Most of us worry unnecessarily about so many things. And those things we worry about, they don't even come to be. We worry for, for so many things. We are disturbed, we, we are down as a result of our thoughts. Thought for things and the present things, thought about past things, even thought about the future. Things that we think will go wrong in the future make us to be worried. The Lord is telling us today that he will handle it. The Lord will handle that situation for you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And amazingly, most of those things that we think about, they don't come to pass. Most of them, most of them, they don't even matter at all. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to show you some things from research. I'm talking about um, facts and figures now from research. We, we had bit here that 40% of all the things we worry about never come to pass. 40% of the things you are disturbed about, the things that you spend, you, 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 you had sleepless nights about, they don't come to pass. 
And then 30% of all our worries involve past decisions that cannot be changed. 30% of them are the things that you can do. You, you, they, they, they are past. They are already gone. They are in, the, in your past. And yet you are still worried. There is nothing you can do about the past. They are gone and they are gone forever. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, something that you cannot change, something that you cannot alter, something that you cannot reverse, why are you worried about that thing? Praise the name of the Lord. Whether you are worried about it or not, it remains the same. There is nothing you can do about it. We now have 70%. 12%. 12% of the things we worry about focuses on criticisms from others. I want you to know that head or tail, people will still talk. Praise the name of the Lord. No matter this, this, uh, which side of the divide you are, people will talk. So why are you worried about what people are saying? Why should you disturb yourself about what is going on, what people are saying about you, or saying about your situation, or saying about anything that concerns you? You don't need to be worried. You don't need to be disturbed. Because there is nothing you can do about it. Whether you are here or there, people will still talk. Praise the name of the Lord. And then we still have 10% are related to our health. 10% of the things we worry about are related to our health. And we get worse when we worry. We complicate issues more by worrying about these things. So why should we be worried when we know that the more we are worried, the more things will be complicated? You don't need to be worried about that. Then, 8%, 8% of our worries are considered to be genuine or the real cause for concern, the real cause to be worried. Just 8%. Now imagine that is the only genuine cause of our worry. Praise the name of the Lord. 92%, I mean 8 over 100, 90, 92 over 100 is just a waste of time. It's just a waste of time. It's a waste of precious time, waste of our energy. Praise the name of the Lord. We, we all the sleepless nights, all the headaches, all the stress are just uncalled for. No need for them. Praise the name of the Lord. God does not wish for us to spend our days worrying or being worried. Not about the future, not about the present, and not about even the past. Praise the name of the Lord. You know what worry does to us? Worry is caught into our thoughts and drain us of our energy and our joys, of our strength, praise the name of the Lord. Worry sap our strength and our blessings. Now, there is a big difference between worry, being worried, and, uh, and um, critical thinking or creative thinking. When you are thinking creatively, you, you, you tend to, to be productive in your thinking. At the end of the day, the outcome of your critical thinking or your creative thinking will be productive. But when it comes to being worried, at the end of the day, it is destructive. It is not productive. That's just the difference. So you find a way to, to know when to think critically and, uh, and not to worry at all. All of them have to do with our thoughts. Praise the name of the Lord. And the greatest battlefield for us, for humans, is our mind. Is our mind. And the devil capitalized on that to wreck havoc. I want you to know where to fight this battle. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Rather than worrying, do this instead. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. I read from the New Living Translation. He says, Don't worry about anything. 
do not be worried about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. Thank him for all he has done. I take it again. Don't worry about anything. Anything is anything. The Bible does not say we should worry about some things. He said, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Pray about everything. Both minor things, both major things. Pray about them. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Praise the name of the Lord. If you can do this, then that battle that the enemy is using to discourage you, to fight you, to put you down, will be over. You will be victorious in your Christian life. Praise the name of the Lord. Finally, um, before we, we leave, I want, us to, I want to give us three reasons. Three reasons not to worry. Three reasons not to worry. Number one, the God who created life in you can be trusted with all the details of your life. God created you. So he knows all the details of your life, even to the hair on your head. The Lord knows them. He knows them one after the other. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, before you were formed in your mother's womb, he knows you. He has engraved you into the palms of his hands. So you are before God daily. The Lord knows you. The Lord knows your needs. The Lord knows those things that are, 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 are making you to be discouraged. The Lord knows every damn thing about you. So you don't need to be worried. All you need to do is to take it to the Lord in prayers. And he is faithful. Praise the name of the Lord. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, the word of God says to us, he said, For I know the thoughts that I take towards you, says the Lord. For I know the thought. The Lord knows the thought. The Lord knows the thought. He has a thought towards you. He said, Thoughts of peace, hallelujah. If the Lord has thoughts of peace towards you, why are you peaceless? Why are you why are you disturbed? Why are you having that sleepless night? Hallelujah. He said, and not of evil, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Oh, praise the Lord. What a lovely word from the Lord today. The Lord knows the thought that is thinking towards you. Thought of peace. Thought of peace. Thought of good things. Thought of, of great promises. Thought of redemption. Thought of goodness and mercy towards you. He said, and not of evil. God is not thinking evil towards you. It is the devil that is only thinking evil towards us. Praise the name of the Lord. He said to give you an expected end. What are you expecting? So why are you worried? Your future is in the hands of the Lord. Your expected end, your expected future is in the hand of the Lord. The Lord is giving you an expected end. So don't be disturbed. The Lord will do what he says he will do. God does not ignore those who depend on him. He is always faithful. And he will be faithful to the end. Praise the Lord. That's one of the reasons not to worry. This should give you every assurance not to worry. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two, second reason not to worry is that worrying about the future and part your efforts today. Worrying is more harmful than helpful. So why indulge in something that will destroy your life? You don't have to be worried. You don't have to be worried. You have no reason to be worried. Praise the name of the Lord. When you keep worrying, 
you destroy your today. Instead of enjoying what the Lord has in stock for you today, you won't be able to enjoy it. Your destiny will be destroyed. The purpose of God for your life will be destroyed. Praise the name of the Lord. So, get yourself out of worry. Get yourself out of getting worried. The Lord knows you. He has you in the palms of his hands. He cares for you. He loves you. And he wants to give you the best in life. Praise the name of the Lord. Number three. The third reason why you must not be worried is that it breaks your focus. It breaks your focus on what God wants you to pursue in life. You simply lose focus and miss his purpose for you. Matthew 6.33 6, says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So do not worry. God got your back. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord knows you. He got your back. He will help you. He will help you. In that hopeless situation, in that hopeless situation that you think there is no way you, could, you can get out of it, I want to assure you this morning, I want to assure you today that the Lord will make a way for you. The Lord will make a way for you. You will come out of it victoriously in the name of Jesus. That is God's plans for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Today, I want you to remember, you don't have any reason to be worried. This is the day the Lord has made for you. He's giving you a new beginning. He wants you to make a new start. On a clean slate, praise the name of the Lord. He said, forget about the past. Remember not, not the former things. They are all over. They are, they, they, are, they, they, are, they are past right now. So forget about them. And look ahead into the future. Look unto Jesus for a better tomorrow. Your tomorrow is bright. Your tomorrow is good. God is giving you an expected end. A glorious end in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are under the sound of my voice today and you have not given your life to Christ, you have every cause to be worried. You don't have a new beginning yet. But today, you can make up your mind to have a new beginning. I want to give you the opportunity to receive Jesus into your life today, wherever you may be, wherever you may be, all over the world, wherever you may be, this is an opportunity for you. Tomorrow might be too late. Today is your day of salvation. I want you to close your eyes wherever you are. And as I pray, may the Lord Jesus come into your life today in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I worship you for your children. Oh God, as many, as many, oh God, that want to give their life to Christ, that want to decide for Jesus today. Lord, I pray for them. Oh God, that you forgive their sins in the name of Jesus. That you write their name in the book of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I ask that you come into their heart, come into their lives right now in the name of Jesus. Save their souls in Jesus name. Thank you everlasting Father for saving these ones. You said if you shall be lifted up, you will draw all men unto yourself. Lord, draw these ones unto yourself in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for in Jesus wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. And for the rest of us, I want to pray. Lord God, thank you for your children today. Lord, I pray for as many, as many, oh God, 
that are worried, that are disturbed, that are distressed, that are discouraged. Father, Lord God, you are the hope of everyone. You are the hope of our tomorrow. You are the hope of our future. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you touch every one of them. Lord, at the point of their needs in the name of Jesus. Whatever is that thing, whatever that is, is the source of their worries. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you settle that issue in Jesus' name. You said you will make a way in the wilderness that you will make rivers in the desert. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you do unto them according to your word today in Jesus' name. Father, you said in your word again that you, you will give them an expected end. Oh Lord, Father, I pray, meet them at the point of their needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Is anyone sick? Lord, I ask for your healing power upon them. It is written that you send forth your word, and your word healeth us and deliver us from all our destructions. Father, let your healing virtues flow unto them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, is there anyone that is financially down? Lord, I pray for provisions. Lord, I pray for financial breakthroughs in their lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, whatever is that issue, whatever is that issue, Lord, I pray today, bodies are lifted at Calvary. Let their bodies be lifted in the name of Jesus. Let their bodies, oh God, be taken away in the name of Jesus. Give them peace in place of worries in the name of Jesus. Father, settle them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. For all those of us that want to give to the Lord, I want to pray for you also. Father, thank you for our offerings. As we give, Father, bless us in return. We give you glory. We give you honor because you are a faithful God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. The Lord bless you. I want to thank you so much for joining us for our services. I pray the Lord will continue to keep you. The Lord will continue to guide you in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.